Okay, what we're looking at here is the ICM 518. This is a surge protective device. It's a type 1 and type 2, which means a type 1 goes before the breakers in the panel. It comes from the, the lines coming in. And a type 2 is downstream of the breakers. That's the outlet of the breaker. The difference isn't, it's not a huge deal, but uh, but it is rated for both. This is 240 volts, so this is going to go into, it could go into a breaker panel to protect everything downstream, or it could be used, uh, say, on an air conditioner, uh, on the disconnect for the air conditioner, and it's supposed to protect from surges there. Now, so what do these things actually do? That's a good question. Uh, they don't really do anything, but a little light comes on that tells you it's there. But what they're supposed to do is, and this is primarily lightning cause problems. Okay. Uh, We'll say uh, lightning strikes the uh, power lines outside or something. And there will be a surge that comes down the line. And th what this is for is to direct the surge to ground. So ideally, if something comes through the line that you're not, that is outside of the parameters of the equipment that you're protecting, this thing should eliminate the charge, or the the surge from coming through. Now it could, it doesn't necessarily have to be lightning, although it seems like that is most of what it is. Uh, but sometimes other devices, sometimes electric motors that are started up, they can cause interference and they can cause spikes too. And we have an awful lot of stuff in our houses now that could be damaged by these surges. Now the equipment itself, say you have a, a furnace or, or something like that that's got an electronic board in it, it does have some surge protection in it. But I know, uh, I've been a tech for many years, and I've had situations where people would say, well, uh, we had a power outage, uh, and of course you really don't know what caused the power outage most of the time, but then the furnace didn't work. And that was probably a surge went down the line and damaged the controls in the furnace. So what these things are for is just an extra layer of protection that may help. Now, when, when you have something like this in the line, you're not going to know really uh, whether it works or not. It just, <laughs> if it doesn't work, the, the, there may be damage downstream to something. But uh, in, in a way, I guess you'd have to call them install and hope. Because uh, you really can't determine whether this thing's going to be good or not. They go by the manufacturer. The manufacturer's a good one. Uh, I've used their products quite a bit. They supplied this, by the way, for free. That's all they did. I don't, I'm don't. i not uh, selling their product. But uh, they occasionally uh, give me stuff to test. And I, when I get around to it, I test. Anyway, the... The installation of these things is uh, is actually pretty simple. I will uh, I will demonstrate it. Uh, there's three wires that come out of this thing. One of them goes to neutral. That's a white, and the other two go to the two uh, hot leads coming in. Remember, this is a 240 volt product. This can also be mounted outside. It's supposed to be weatherproof. I assume it is. 
I'm going to be mounting it inside on a sub panel for my solar so it doesn't need to be uh, uh, waterproof or anything but these things are ready to be outside so uh, I'll show you where I'm going to put this thing in and we'll go ahead and do it okay I'm going to be installing this thing in one of these knockouts this thing will go in there just like that okay all I've done is I shut off this main I've taken the white wire that came from the device put it over in the uh, neutral bus bar and taking the two black wires and hooked them into the main that's all there is to this thing the light comes on it's working now is this thing any good heck if i know uh you're kind of going on you hope they made good stuff uh, I, I don't have a problem with uh, icm i've used their stuff for quite a while but it's one of those safety devices that the only way you would know if it didn't work would be if something downstream was damaged but anyway that's it it's a really simple install uh, you know this is a, a sub panel for my solar system and uh, and it's on there and I hope it works well <laughs> that's about all I can say and that's it on this one